Hello again everybody, it's Brian Alley Walsh, NewOrleans.com. It's Wednesday and I've returned home to send out this vlog for our Saints fans. Um, from an injury standpoint, some good news for the most part, it was a physical game against the Rams. This week's injury report's a lot longer than last week's injury report, which only included three people. Uh, the full list will be on our website uh, later this afternoon, but I'll give you just the the, the nuts and bolts of it. Um, those that did not practice are tight end David Thomas with a knee, kick returner wide receiver Courtney Roby with a concussion, defensive tackle Remy Idell with an ankle, and defensive tackle Anthony Hargrove with a knee on a limited basis. Free safety Malcolm Jenkins with ribs, middle linebacker Jonathan Vilma with a quad, tight end Jeremy Shockey with a groin, running back Chris Ivory with a hamstring, and left tackle Jermon Bushrod with an ankle. Uh, most of these injuries were, uh, the injuries were suffered during the game. There's some that are past nicks and bruises that Sean Payton wanted to hold out, but uh, most of them were incurred during, during the ball game uh, Sunday against St. Louis. The club worked out today and will continue to work out the rest of the week. The temperature in in in, uh, in preparation for Sunday's game in the outdoors against the Baltimore Ravens at M&T Bank Stadium in downtown Baltimore. Uh, the temperature there, the, the long range forecasts are around freezing, with possibility for snow showers throughout the game, much like at Cincinnati uh, ten days ago. Kind of the same kind of conditions from what we understand. Nothing crazy but still cold enough and this club under Sean Payton is two and five in at, in games when the kickoff temperature is at 40 degrees or below uh, below 40 degrees uh, two and five and that includes a win against the same Bengals at, at Paul Brown Stadium when the temp was right around 30 31 they ended up winning that game in a close one if you remember 34 30 uh, they don't anticipate any crazy temper, any any really crazy elements for this game on Sunday. Uh, you know, the the thing that I think goes unnoticed a little bit is that uh, Baltimore is is known for its defense, and they're they're regarded as one of the top defenses in the league this year. Well, they're ranked tenth in yards allowed, tenth overall. The Saints are six. So, you know, and some of the some of the defensive players privately want to say that uh, you know they. They, they've seen that, and uh, they want to go there and show that they're every bit as good, if not better, defensive unit than the Baltimore Ravens. Uh, so it should be an interesting week in, in game preparations. Uh, I, I will be filing a post later this afternoon on uh, an interesting development with running back Chris Ivory. He worked on a limited basis today. Uh, he missed the last three quarters of the Rams game with a tweaked right hamstring and he in in discussions uh, with the media on Monday after uh, their their workout and everything their uh, their typical Monday work we talked in the locker room about uh, his hamstring and he has had problems uh, with it in the past and he said that he didn't hydrate properly the night before the game and coach Sean Payton addressed that uh, to the media today what what uh, uh, you know what Chris is going to have to deal with probably throughout of his career because of his build because of the way he's tightly wound as, as Sean said and uh, you know he's going to have to take care of himself to hydrate properly and uh, now we're getting to the stage where these first year players are experiencing something new they've never gone many of them have not gone beyond Thanksgiving uh, in their seasons before and this thing is still three weeks left of the regular season so you know, some of these guys are experiencing just a new, completely new environment uh, as they get ready for the stretch run here. So for Brian L.A. Walsh, NewOrleans.com, please stay tuned to our website for posts later today and updates throughout. Uh, aloha, everyone.